How are you, Dave? Oh, mate, how are you? Yeah, I'm not too bad, thank you. Um, thanks very much for taking your time out to have a chat for the Spike Talk. No worries, mate, no worries. I've just, uh, I, I'd only just got in, so I just want to spend a bit of time at Kids Club on the bed, that's all, mate. Oh, that's fine, mate, no problem. Look at that, I can enter. I need it for another day, but I won't, no, take, I won't take up too much of your time anyway. Um, no worries, mate. Um, first of all, I just want to have a quick catch up with you. Um, how's Tony looking in preparation for um, David Hay? Yeah, it's really good, you know. I'm uh, I'm really excited for the fight. He's uh, he's he's doing everything that I need him to be doing. Um, the little things that we're you know that we're adding to his game, and he's he's picking him up, and he's he's good. He's he's in a good place. He's very strong, very powerful, and and he's fit as well. So so you know we're, we're still six six weeks out or so, and it's um, it's all good, mate. Yeah, um, Gavin McDonald, um. You got a big fight coming up um, the twenty fifth of February. Um, how do you how do you see this one going? I mean, do, do, do you think he's good in this as the underdog? Yeah, listen, I mean, listen, I'm I'm, I'm seeing both you know both fights that we've got there um, where the underdogs, you know, but it's something that we're kind of used to doing. Uh-huh. Um, we we you know the fights that my guys have for the big fights they, they always tend to be in real fights. There's not many gimmies that they have. You know, um, and and so it's you know we like proving people wrong. We like being yeah. the one that where we think we've got no chance. It's not, you know, when you get you get any people, you have people that are insulting and being disparaging towards your fighters. It's not something that that winds you up as such. It's just it's just part of the game. You see it, and you, it just it just makes you smile and think. Well, you know, how are you going to be, you know, when when we we pull off the win? Which yeah. is, you know, these guys have done that time and time again. And Gav's, you know, he's got a, a massive plus. It's for WBC World Tour, so we expect it to be a, a tough fight. And you've got to look at where, where Gavin's come from uh-huh. in such a short space of time. You know, he's only boxing at domestic level, then international level, and now all of a sudden he's, he's fighting at, at, you know, at the top for the WBC, for the uh-huh. green and gold. Yeah. So, you know, it was obviously a very good fight, a very highly touted prospect. I was very tall, long arms, can punch, can, you know, he's very, very fast. Um, it's a very, very tough fight, but, you know, Gary's one of these kids that he understands that. He doesn't, I like going into fights with guys that, that know, you know, know the limitations, know that, you know, know that they can get beat, and, and you prepare for it accordingly, you know, you, you, um, you prepare to be the best that you can possibly be in, in an all-round sort of sense, not just focusing on one thing. You know, you, you've got to add things to people. You've got to you've got to bring out the best in them, and you've got to take away the worst of them. And, uh-huh. and Gavin's one of those fighters that he's, he, he keeps getting the wins because he's he's very very dedicated and he's, he's willing to put the work in the yeah. gym. Uh-huh. Um, I was chatting to Stephen Bull the other day, and he said that he's he's kind of had one of these careers where it's just a dream. Yeah, it's just. I came from nowhere and he's just at the moment where he's, he's, he's deemed to be a, a world title shot and that's him got him. Yeah, it's, it's just, it's a great story, you know, and, and the thing is, for everybody that knows Gavin knows that he's such a humble kid, he's such a uh-huh. nice kid and, it, you know, very unassuming, he doesn't shout from rooftops, you don't hear him shouting and calling out other fighters, uh-huh. he's just, you know, he's, he's just steadily learning his trade and that's what he's doing. He's learning his trade. He's, he's come through the, the, the old fashioned route. It's all his value. You know, they've come through from, from domestic level, uh, you know, winning British Commonwealth titles and, and, and European titles amongst them, you know, between them and, and then the WBC silver titles. And then, and you know, then they've ended up getting, you know, well, Tony's got the WBC and, and, and now Gavin's fighting for it. So they've come along a similar sort of paths in regards to the routes that they've taken. They've not been, they've not been, you know, just, just, Rushed along and and grabbed a quick international title and then gone straight into world title. But mm-hmm. so kind of like learned learned the craft and had 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 hard fights on along the way. You know, Kevin fight people like Lee Wood, um, people like that. Parodi was a was a test for him and you know every fight for Gav because he's not the most naturally gifted mm-hmm. boxer and he's not blessed with power. It, what what people don't understand that when you're a big banger, every fight's an hard fight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You've got to. You know, you kind of box for twelve rounds. 
Now you gotta you gotta be smart in it. You know you gotta break the the opponent's will and you gotta you gotta break his desire down. And then um, you know every fight's been tough, so he's, so he's learned a hell of a lot. Rather than a lot of a lot of prospects that go out blast these you know blast their journeyman and then their mm-hmm. intermediate sort of level opponents away. They don't like to learn that much about themselves and about different aspects of fighting, you know. Um, and and so then sometimes when they step up, then it, it catches up on them. Yeah. So, you know, it, it's time that Gavin now has got to got to put into practice what he's been learning along the way, and also what he's learning in this camp and, and the sparring that he's been. You know, the, the, I mean, we are just this is his second week of sparring. Sparring, and I'm already I'm 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 really happy with what he's doing because yeah. everything that's been doing on the floor, on the pads and the floor that we're, we're working on, you know, day in day out, he's doing it in sparring, yeah. which is a which is a massive massive factor. Yeah. You know, it's one thing managing to pull them off on on pads. You see people doing all these you know yeah. pad yeah. routines and everything, but how many times do you see him do it in a in a, in a fight? Yeah. You know, and what what these guys are doing in the gym, they're actually pulling off in sparring right now. So, you know, that's all that. Um, what do you make of Ray Vargas? Um, do you think he comes as a, a life threat? Oh, he's a good fighter. He's a very, very good fighter. He's, he's, a, he's a very highly touted prospect. He really is. You know, uh, I think Boxing Monkey has got him as one to watch for the 2017. Yeah. Um, he can punch, he can box, he's very, very long. I mean, if you look at his, um, look at the length of his arms, his arms are long, but look uh-huh. at the length of his, uh, yeah. his, his elbow to his knuckle. It's uh-huh. a bit like, you remember when you're right, he had really, really long forearms. Yeah. Uh-huh. And he just took his arms in and you just couldn't, you couldn't nail the body, you couldn't nail the head. Um, I mean, Barbara gets hit, yeah, he does get hit, but he's, he's very fast, very, very aggressive, can punch. Um, it's a very, very tough fight for Gavin, um, and rightly so, he's the underdog. He's a he's a live underdog that you know I believe can can upset the apple cart and, yeah. and, and, and you know shatter the odds. Mm-hmm. Um, what about um, Jimmy McDonald? Have you any idea when he'll be out next? Yeah, he just got back from from his holiday. Oh, um, yeah. Um, yeah, his first day back today. Um, so we'll you know we'll, we'll see when what's next for him. But he uh, we'll wait on the WBA to see what what they're wanting us to do right. um, because. We've got to see what options are. Whether he stays at bantamweight, yeah, if it's a bantamweight, it'll probably either be um, uh, um, Warren or sorry, right. if he if he needs to go, then we'll see. You know, we'll see what what options are at super bantamweight. Yeah. Um, what about big pricey? What's what's next for David? Yeah, Price is um, but it's a box Christian Hamer on the Eubank belt. Right. So that's a real fight. So uh-huh. That's a step up for him. Um, and it's a you know it's a fight that will sort of progress his career now. So yeah, and Christian yeah. Hammer he knocked out um, Pepper, the, Pepper. yeah uh huh yeah so, um, so you know it's a good it's a good it's a good win for him if should he come through that one yeah uh-huh. um, your gym's really buzzing at the moment what, what's what's the is, there, is it diff, different kind of you drinking different just different juice and stuff <laughs> up there <laughs> yeah, you know is 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 the Every one of them give me hundred percent in this. Yeah. You know, I give them hundred percent, and, and we we work together really really well. The work gets put in. You know, people, you know, the, whatever they want to think. You know, the work gets put in that gym, and and you know, we're, we're a very small team, but we're a very successful team. Uh-huh. Um, you know, it's 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 just a it's it's great. It's just great working with these kids because, like I said, you know, they, they appreciate what you do and and they listen. And they work day in day out very very hard, you know, and and they're getting the 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 results that they deserve. To be yeah. honest, uh-huh. that's that's the thing, yeah. you know, the, and the results. And and we'll, yes, we've got a belief, but we know that the belief's only there because of of what they do in the gym, uh-huh. Uh-huh. you know. And and that that's a big factor. You know, yeah. there's no there's no real egos in that gym. There's a lot of banter in the gym. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of banter uh-huh. about you know who's number one and this. And Gavin, you know, if Gavin wins this title, does that make him go above Jamie? And you know, there's a lot of banter going on in the gym. But um, you know, they all know that they that, that they have to work hard to listen to me, and, and, and we get on really well, and, and the results are there for everyone to see. No matter yeah. what anyone wants to think, the results are there. Uh-huh. Um, finally, Dave, what was your take on the the Gale, um, Jack fight in the weekend? You know what? I I think I tweeted uh, after round nine. I had it I had it level. Yeah. But 
the gale um, 10 and 11. And then, uh, so I had the gale two up, and then round 12, obviously, I gave it 10 8. But, uh, I thought it was a great fight, a really good fight. More, more so, I thought the whole show was brilliant. Yeah. Was fantastic. Oh, really yeah. enjoyed it. Really, really was worth staying up for. Um, and it was just a really good start to the year. I got a bit, you know, the girl didn't get the win. Um, but like I said, I, I had it draw. One of those fights, it could have gone either way, really. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Close fights aren't robberies. And that's what people yeah. need to need to understand you know, because just the fight doesn't go your way. If, if every if every round is competitive, sometimes rounds are hard to score. Yeah. You might fancy the guy that's coming forward, uh-huh. and I might fancy the guy that's that's, that's kind of like just on the back foot and boxing, or uh-huh. you know, vice versa. And, and it's just what you in a yeah. close fight. It's what you like, really, sometimes. Um, do you have any thoughts on what Chris Mark Junior said after after the fight? After which fight? Uh, after the De Gale fight, he said that he was coming for the rest of James's teeth. Do you, do you think that fight could possibly yeah. get me down the line? Yeah, maybe, but but Junior's a very good fighter himself. Um, uh, it's been a strange one and just jumping up for super middleweight to grab that title. Uh-huh. Um, but it is what it is. I mean, he's, he's a talented fighter. I believe he can fight. I'm not. I'm not so. I'm not so much of a fan of his actual boxing ability, yeah. but I believe he's a fighter. I think yeah. he's a very, very strong, aggressive fighter, a kid. Um, and he's, you know, he's, ex- he's exciting. Um, so, yeah, I think a middleweight, I think he, he's, in, he's in some good fights there. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, but a super middleweight, you know, it's a, it's a, bit, a little bit bigger, you know, a little yeah. bit bigger, than, and, and I'm not so sure he's, uh-huh. he's got that. You know, he, can, he can beat them at the top way that's sort of middleweight to be honest but you know I'm, 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 something like a Callum Smith you know forget about De Gale I don't think he'd beat a Callum Smith yeah. you know I think, I think Callum had, 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 had box his head off and, and, and chill him up um, but you know De Gale for me he, he's he's proven himself at, at that top top sort of level he's had the top five now yeah. Um, you know yeah it were a draw but he's still, you know, he, he's he's kind of been there and done that and, and had the real fights and, and he's earned his stripes and he's, he's earned the respect at world level. Um, I don't think Junior yet has has earned his respect has earned his respect at world level because yeah. he's not boxed at that sort of level. Yeah, sure. You know, when he when he boxed um, Billy Joe, Billy Joe Billy Joe wasn't at world level. He was at domestic level yeah. that time. And Billy Joe beat him. Now obviously Billy Joe now is a world you know world level fighter, a world champion, um, and and he's a class act, but back then he was just a prospect like like yeah, Junior was. Yeah. Um so, you know, for me, um uh, Junior's not, not stepped into that level yet. Um and certainly not gonna be doing it on, on February fourth. But um, you know, it is this time this time for him to, to, to make his move and, and start having some real real good fights yeah. and and at middleweight. I think like I said, he's a he's a good fighter. He's gonna be involved in good fights and he's gonna be involved in fights that people are gonna talk about because yeah because of the personalities that, that are involved. Yeah. Uh, um, thank you very much, Dave, for talking to Fight Talk. I really appreciate no it, mate. Um, no problem. All, mate, the best, all the best. All the best for all your fighters, and I hope they catch up with you soon. Appreciate that, mate. Nice right. one. Cheers. Yeah, I'll speak to you soon, Dave. Bye-bye. See you later, mate. Bye.